PM to range leukemia uh, represent 10% of all acute leukemias and can present as lymphoid or myeloid leukemia and can be seen in children and adults as well. Came to a rearranged disease, it's a high risk disease with unmetherapeutic need. Patients frequently relapse after chemotherapy and allogenic stem cell transplant. And for relapsed patients, um, response rate and overall survivals remain low. And currently, there is no approved target therapy for KMT2 rearranged disease. Rivimunib is a small molecule inhibitor of the KMT2A menin interaction, and it's currently being investigated in relapsed refractory patients with KMT2 range or MPM1 mutated acute leukemia, which is also driven by the KMT2A menin interaction. In phase one portion, it shows manageable safety and promising outcomes. The Current phase uh, two augment 101 study um, is, uh, is testing rovimunib as a monotherapy at the recommended phase two dosing in relapsed refractory patients with KMT2 range disease. And there's another cohort that's still ongoing for patients with MPM1 mutated AML. The primary endpoint was CR and CRH rate in addition to secondary key endpoints such as overall response and composite CR as well. Uh, there was a planned pre, um, interim analysis after the first 57 patients with documented mutations that they have adequate follow-up after starting treatment. So the efficacy population for the study included 57 patients, almost a quarter of them were children, and the majority of patients were AML. And uh, they, these were heavily pretreated patients. Almost half of the patient had three or prior lines of therapy. The majority had venetoclax, clocks, and almost half the patient had prior allogenic stem cell transplant. Um, so the, with a median follow-up of six months, the overall response rate was 63%. The study made the primary endpoint with CRCRH rate of 23%, with the lower pound of the um, 95% confidence interval, 12.7%, and this exceeds the 10% uh, for the study uh, for the CRCRH. And the majority of responses were deep, and 70% uh, of patients available for MRD response achieve MRD negativity. And the median duration for, uh, for response in patient achieved CRCRH was 6.4 months. And almost 40% of patients were able, of responders were able to proceed with allogenic stem cell transplant. And half of those transplanted patients were able to resume Revimunib as a maintenance therapy afterward. Toxicity overall were manageable. Only 6% of patients discontinued Revimunib because of treatment-related adverse events. The most common grade three or higher adverse events was neutropenic fever. Um, the grade three or higher differentiation syndrome was reported in 16% and for QTC prolongation was 14%, but there was no patient discontinued Revimunib because of differentiation syndrome, QTC prolongation, or cytopenia. Um, so the study shows that uh, Revimunib is safe and effective as a monotherapy and relapsed refractory KMT to range acute leukemia and uh, responses were durapil and deep and allow many of these patients to proceed with allogenic stem cell transplant as a curative treatment. As the study made the primary efficacy in point, uh, it was stopped early and uh, currently there's an application uh, to the FDA for Revimunib in this population of patients.